buying a house or a masjid on a riba based bank Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Rale Sudari Vasili Amari Wahli Lutnatsani Yaqo calling The brother has an asked a question like many um, uh, There are many massages There are many Islamic institutions that has been uh, built on uh, um, On a riba based not an Islamic way So uh, uh, what is the ruling on that one? Well uh, that does not change the law of Allah that does not change the fact that uh, any un-Islamic institution revive based buying of a house and the masjid or Islamic center or anything is totally prohibited and does, that does not change the fact that physical location is a haram uh, the children who are being studying in the in the universities and Islamic schools or oh, if that property is based on riba based, that does not mean who is studying in that institution is a haram also because it is Allah gave them a tawfiq to study Islam and they're coming there but that particular um, agreement between the riba based uh, bank like an interest based bank in, in, in America UK in Canada it does not change a bad uh, fact that it is haram it, it, it is haram and also the the Quran said that especially there is no other matter whether Allah and the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that there is no other matter except the matter of riba where Allah and the Prophet ﷺ to get ready to have a war with them if somebody involved in the riba many scholars have uh, given the rulings that uh, it is not allowed to take it but it is allowed to give it it's okay because you're not involved so I'm going to ask them a question so this is something like uh, you selling an alcohol you selling a cigarette but you are not drinking yourself does it make a halal or haram by giving somebody else of course it's, it's a very logical answer that becomes a haram so even somebody uh, so who, who are the people being involved in this one the seller the buyer the one who write an agreement the one who types the paper the one who signed it the one who prints it all falls into the same category of riba but the only difference is some of them get a hundred percent uh grade of sin and some of them get a less percentage of sin the one who just print the paper so it's all divided sin they are getting a sin and so most institutions in either it's in a uk or it's in canada or america or anywhere but if that institution is based on a riba that has been an agreement with a non-islamic bank where they charge an interest monthly that particular institution that particular building or the property is a haram and also this person let's say for an example uh that uh, that committee that group of people who bought that property they think they are doing something good they are doing something for islam they are doing something very good that will help in the future if if it will help uh, the next generation this might be in their destiny to learn something but not in the destiny who has started this whole uh, project either it's the uh, it's islamic center islamic uh, school it's an university but if that particular physical place is based on something uh, uh, having an agreement with a non-islamic mortgage that mortgage is based on something uh, a non -Islamic.